Hi, I'm Marie Eldridge, and today we're talking about the three inch slice ruler, the template. I love how this template feels in my hand. I like the straight edge and I like that curve. I like the size of it. This is a great ruler. I'm going to show you some different things that you can do with it. You can see I've already stitched this out. What I did was I just found a grid line here and I stitched across the top so it's a quarter inch away from there. I can just slide this down and pick a different grid line and then I'll bring my uh, hopping foot in and I'll just, it's just such a nice shape and it fits great in your hand. You can just stitch right across there. You can see how I slow down as I get to that line and then I'm going to pull this down. You can see I've put a couple of pieces of tape on there. That's just to set that up. So you can see those pieces of tape. You can make so many different designs and different uh, spacings between there and then just add a little wiggle in between there. The other thing I like is a little bit of ribbon candy underneath there. Whoops, got a little fat there. Trying to get done. Okay. This is the best part about this ruler is it has that straight side to it. So I can use that to just travel, keep me on the straight and narrow till I get to this other one. I don't know if you can see these different um, arcs and see the design in those. See how they happen. Okay, so the best thing about having the three inch is that we already had a two and a half. So if you have the two and a half, it works as a great companion. And you can use that to just add some different designs to it as well. I'm all about echoing, so I like using that smaller one as well. The other thing you can do with this is you can put your ruler so that it's exactly on the line. I'm just gonna sneak up here a little bit because I've done a little piano key here. So if I put my template right on the line that I've already stitched and go just around that. What I'm getting is that quarter inch echo and you may have to just adjust, slide your slice template around and come around. All right, you can see that I've done a sunshine over here, just kind of some angles off of there. Again, that's the great thing about this ruler is that it has some different angles on it. All right, I'm going to bring my ruler in and you can see it has the different arcs on here so I can just mark those. And then I can use my ruler to come back on those and put those points in. So I'm just gonna mark these at the top and I've marked them on the smaller arc as well. All right, bring that back in here and I'm just gonna sneak across here and then we'll say there's one up here and back down to that one. I just like how it pivots. It's just that tool that you can do both a curve and a straight line with. So just adding some little spikes to that. And you can see how you can just keep going around on there. All right, so you can already see these cute feathers. You can use this arc as a great design that you can fill a border or a sash. So a couple of different feather ideas here. First of all is I like doing these cute little, the kind of a wheat sash. And first of all, I stitched the arc 
and you can just travel your whole quilt and do those and then come back on the second row and do these. So the way you do these is I like to follow that little, follow my arc, lean to the inside. I'm just going to go to the inside, push into the inside, push into the inside, push on the inside, and then come back down. So push to the inside and make your loop, follow it, come back and make your loop. Just going to try and keep them the same size. And you can add those to your design. You can put more arcs underneath, more on the outside, or it just looks really cute just like that. The other thing is we can just do some casual feathers with this. So I'm just going to do the inside and the outside at the same time. I'm going to drop all the way down on the bottom there. Try and come back and stay right on that center vine. And you may need to put a few more on the top than you do on the bottom, and that's okay. Okay, and you can see how those look when you do them all along in there and how they fit with just a little V left in here. I'll show you a different one that fills up that whole sash. All right, I just want to show you some of the things that you can add to your design. So using the different amounts of the slice ruler and using also the smaller slice ruler with it, you can get a nice shape on the inside and then that on the outside. And then just a circle and a wiggle and a circle and a wiggle and then fill in the inside. This is just curved, uh, continuous curve on the inside, so you'll make a grid first. You can see here I just have straight lines across. Even just a simple design like that adds a lot to it, and it looks kind of elegant. You could make this into a grid as well. Again, this just those different sizes that you can get using the slice and using just about a quarter of an inch different each time, you would just move that grid up just a quarter of an inch each time and get those different shapes. Add some little flowers and it's just, I, I really see the difference in going this direction and doing double stitching on it and this direction and doing one stitch on it and how different it looks. So this is the feather that has the spines going all the way up to the top. You kind of have to draw yourself a line right there in the middle and know that that's where you're going to end your feathers so the next one can begin. So I have a uh, fern here and also a feather and I'll just stitch those out for you. Same thing just using this, uh, using our slice template to go all the way down our quilt and then we can come back and add whatever we want to it. So we'll just start with our feather. And again, I'm just doing a really casual feather so I don't have to do any backtracking. I can travel really fast. And I'm trying to reach up to that top line. And then I'm going to keep them all even with that top line and even with the bottom line. Try and come back and stay right on your spine. Just kind of travel along there. And there's my edge where I know the next one's going to start. So I've kind of stopped right there at a kind of a straight line across there. All right, here comes some ferns. Same thing, I can do those at the same time, one on each side. You want to make sure you kind of stop at the end so you're adding a point to these. And I'm not going to try and go all the way to the line on these. I'm just going to make it look like a nice 
feathery fern, kind of wispy. And since I have that shape to guide me, I just have to follow that curve of the template. It's really one of those shapes that really makes a nice, uh, attractive look to it. Now, I don't have to do too much to make it look good. So I'm just adding a few more fed little spines on there. And just pull that out to the end. I'm really excited about this three inch slice template. I think you'll be able to find some fun things that you can do with it. Just look at all these fun different ways and isn't that white thread on purple? It's very fun. So try some different colors and see what you get.